let's get it, man. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, CJ, a.k.a. No Limit CJ. Welcome, welcome back to another video. Now, today, you guys see what the deal is. The best dribble tutorial for 6.5 and up. Now, how old are you guys this video from, like, I think I said 55 likes, bro. Y'all got the thing 200 likes, bro, on the dribble moves video. So, if you guys want to know that the best dribble moves on that video, you know what I'm saying, make sure you watch that thing after this video. But I'm going to show you guys the moves I'm rocking with as well as how to do them, you know what I'm saying. This has been very anticipated, so I'm sorry for the wait, bro. Before this video starts, y'all know the deal, man. Hit that like and subscribe, and if you're new, 25K on the way. I'm going to keep coming with these lit, entertaining videos all year long, so you don't want to miss another video. Video, let's get straight to these germ moves, bro. These are my germ moves that I'm rocking with, and you guys are gonna see in this tutorial. But mind you, my player is 69, so I am unable to get moves like the curry slide. You know what I'm saying? I can't get the curry slide because I don't have the height in this ball control. Neither can I get certain size up. So I know some of y'all 6'6 six, six guard, 6'7 six, can get curry slide, all that good stuff. But for this sake of this tutorial, for the sake of the moves I already showed you guys, I'm just gonna show you guys based on the moves that I'm doing right now. So these are the playmaking animations that I'm rocking with right now. Make sure you guys copy me what I'm doing because you don't want to have one move that might mess you up. You know what I'm saying? So copy these down. Let's get straight to these germ moves and how to do I me mean, personally when i'm practicing something bro i don't like something messing me up so we're gonna go down here we're gonna go down to pro stick function and we're gonna make this thing on germ moves only for now because when you do these germ moves it might make you shoot out of them with the right stick submit on germ moves only so that it doesn't happen to you and you can get these moves down the best way you can now, I'm going to show you guys a hand cam tutorial, bro. Hit that like button if you haven't already. You know what I'm saying? Somebody didn't hit the like button. Now you did, and now it's up. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get straight to these moves. So, me dribbling on a 6-9, right? This is my, kind of like my first season doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, these six are very, very new to me. I'm going to show you guys the moves that I learned first things first that I kind of knew, but they helped me become a better dribbler. So, I'm going to show you guys basic moves that you guys might have known already. Some people are new to the game, so they don't know how to dribble on a big man. They don't even know how to dribble, bro. So, I'm going to get you guys right. So, first things first, let's start off with the explosive on the back. This move right here, bro, you know what I'm saying? You guys might see me do this. this move, like, a top three move of mine, you know what I'm saying, with a 6'9 build. I could be chaining up something and then boom, I go that way, you feel what I'm saying? Some people don't know how to do that. Now, if you're a guard, you probably know how to, but as my big man out there, bro, switching to this position is not easy. All you're gonna wanna do, bro, is hold RT or R2 and flick the right stick and left stick to the uh, diagonal opposite ball hand. So, if the ball is my left hand right now, you're gonna flick the right stick and left stick diagonally down to the right, so it looks like this. You guys see how my stick movement is? I'm just gonna hold it for a second like that, you feel what I'm saying? Just, and honestly, for the left stick, bro, it's actually very much easier when you just flick the left stick like straight to the left you know what i'm saying or straight to the other side so i mean the ball is in my right hand right now i'm flicking the left stick to the left and vice versa so it looks like this like i said boom it's like that it's fairly easy to do um once you guys get this move down you're gonna be like oh what was i missing out on bro they look it looks so complicated to do it's very simple but once you get this move down bro you're gonna get a lot of people le leaning with this move right here get a lot of open shots of your liking bro and just go crazy now this other move y'all be seeing me do a lot this donovan mitchell right here bro this is one of my favorite moves with the six nine even in general in the game bro i love this move right here it feels like a james harden type of size you know what i'm saying you know when james harden used to get to the three-point line iso you feel what i'm saying spam that little tween tween and then he looks like nice step back or something you feel me very nice move to do i love this move right here i'm gonna show you guys how to do it it's really not rocket science to be honest bro it looks kind of cool when i do it but all it is bro i'm just looking the rest of left and right back and forth you feel what i'm saying just like that and it's going to give you this little chain move right here that allows you to size up your defender it's a really cool move to do i'd recommend learning it you don't want to do nothing else you don't want to move the left stick at all you know what i'm saying it's going to make you do different drill moves what you want to do bro you just want to stay and put bro and size up your defender they don't know where you're gonna go they don't know if you're gonna run to the other side of the court rim run them or something you know what i'm saying you can really do whatever out of this move and it gives you a speed boost so it's very crazy to do i love this move right here it makes me feel like i'm like hardened back in his prime bro. third move we're gonna go over is the Kyrie irving hop step so i showed you guys like i said in the animation the Kyrie irving hop step is a very important move that i do a lot so if you guys see me ever chaining up like this and i do this little like glitchy hop back move like that that is the Kyrie Irving hop step. So if you need to do it like this, catch a whole lot of ankle breakers. This move is the best ankle breaking move in 2K. So make sure you learn this game move right here, bro. I'm telling you, bro. This move catches so many angles. If you guys want to see the video after this video, bro, I was I caught about like 15 ankle breakers in one video, bro. It was insane. But bro, best ankle breaking move in the game for sure. Hands down, bro. Hands down, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can do a lot of chain moves out of it. But learn that move right there. All it is, bro, you're gonna hold R2 and hold the right stick down. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That's literally it. Now it gives you, it's kind of directional but it really just depends where your, uh, what's it called, your player is headed to. So if I'm going to the right, it might look like this. And if I'm going, like, and if I'm, like, comboing up, it might look like that. But if you guys see that, just that little hop back move is the Kyrie Irving hop step. All it is is holding R2 or RT and holding the right stick. Actually, any direction, honestly. Just make sure it's downward, whether it's down left, down right, down middle. You know what I'm saying? Both moves work. So make sure you learn this move right here. Very elite move to do. And the last move before I get into the combos is this, this move right here. You know what I'm saying? This little hop move right here, bunny hop, I call it. 
All it is, you're going to flick the left stick away from the ball, but flick the right stick to the same hand. So you want to flick the right stick to the right in this situation if the ball's in your right hand, and flick the left stick to the left. So it looks like this, right? It's going to like cross path thing there. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Just like that. It's very simple to do. And it's honestly, bro, good move to do out of a combo. So if like you're comboing up like this, you know what I'm saying? Like that, it'll hop jumper. Hop again, you know what I'm saying? It gives you a little burst out of it. It's a really cool move to do. It's like a hezzy, honestly. It's like a nice hezzy to do. Now, you can chain it however you look like, bro, but I would definitely recommend doing this move. It's a really good move to do. If y'all still watching this video right now, comment down below your favorite color, bro. Let's see who's still. Let me see if y'all be watching my tutorials, man. Me personally, my favorite color is green, but that's for me, though. Now, for the combos I do. So, if you guys are new to the channel, this is basically where I show you guys the moves in the beginning and I comboing them at the after that. You know what I'm saying? Combo the moves I showed you guys after. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So, you now see me doing this little spam dribble and that carry hop jumper, you know. I'm saying I do this a whole lot of times. That's what I'm like trying to work my defender. This is probably my signature move with my 6-9 build, bro. Honestly, it's really like unpredictable because I can really go anywhere with it. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of quick dribbles. So it's just like, bro, where is he gonna go, bro? You know what I'm saying? It's like, why is he doing all that? Boom behind the back. I don't even know. You just chained up with something. But just a little brief explanation for y'all. Don't know. flick the right stick left back and forth. You know what I'm saying? And then do the Kyrie hop jumper I showed you guys earlier, just like that. And Sometimes it looks different, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna look the same every single time because there's different hop jumper uh, animations in it. But uh, you know what I'm saying? You could be comboing up. You could be comboing up like these, you know what I'm saying? It, lo it looks like part of the dribble move. That was very smooth, I ain't gonna lie to you. The hop jumper just adds a little bit of smoothness to it, you know what I'm saying? I can combo up for days, step back. Oh my, yeah, that I ain't gonna lie, that first one was tough. That first one was very tough. You get where I'm going with it, bro? You can really just combo however you want. Like I said, you just do the, the tween move I showed you guys earlier into a Kyrie hop jumper. You hold our team, hold the right stick down any direction, and you got an open shot for most of the time. And if you don't, if they're playing up, that's when you blow by. Because you're a big man, bro. You're a big man doing this, understand. You're a big guard slash big man, you know what I'm saying? So if a defender plays up, you just get right by them, bro. Blow by, easy take, you know what I'm saying? Got a bucket. Another combo I want to show you guys is with the KD escape. So I remember I have KD on, right? Regular through the legs, crossover into an explosive on the back. So this is what it looks like right here. I'm going to show you guys. Do a tween cross, run a little bit, and then explosive on the back. Now this move right here, honestly, you don't expect a big man to do all that, bro. You just expect a rim run. Now, if you're a big guard, like I said, that's different. But I'm a big, I'm a big man doing this. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind, bro. I do through the legs, long cross, and then I do a little, I do it through the legs, long cross, and that gives you a speed boost right there, right? And then after that, you do explosive behind the back. So it really works for anybody, bro. Like I said, it's really not a big man, big guard type thing. It's just like a good move to do. Now, if you already have the open way, bro, do not do this explosive behind the back. If you're already open off this, bro, take it. But if they're playing you up close like that, you can either do explode the mind back to the rim or outside to the three. It's up to you, whichever one you're trying to get for. But it's a very lethal move to do. It's definitely going to catch a defender lacking, especially like yeah, you didn't pull this out all game. It's one of those like late pullouts, you know what I'm saying? Final and last move, bro, is going to be the KD size of this move right here. You know the little run out it gives you. The little run out, right? You're going to run out and then do explosive behind the back. So this move right here, bro, it's not really complicated, honestly. It's probably the easiest move to learn out of all of these. But all it is, you want to just hold RT, right? You want to hold RT or R2 and flick the right stick down for the KD move. This move's very easy, you know what I'm saying? You can do this with one hand, dang near, you know what I'm saying? And all you're going to do is get a little momentum. Keep running out that way and then do explosive behind the back. It's a little misdirection, right? It's a little misdirection move to do to get open. And it doesn't have to be a three-pointer, bro. This move actually is very fast, you know what I'm saying? You can go to the rack or something. You're supposed to buy in the back. I don't know. Just confuse your defender up. The key part of the dribbling, bro, is not over dribbling, but actually getting by your defender. So, you know what I'm saying? You do a little move like this. It's going to throw them off a little bit. You got a speed boost. They're trying to catch up. Then you do explode to buy in the back and switch it back up. So, you got a nice move to do. You got by your defender. And once again, the explosive behind the back is like this. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. I can do a whole tutorial on it if you guys really want to, but we're in June. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to do it. I hope this tutorial helped you guys become a better dribbler, bro. If you guys want to see these dribble moves in action, we broke ankles in every single affiliation, bro. The first to ever do it in one video. Click this video right here, bro. I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy that thing, bro. I'll see y'all there, man.